like most of the time I was just like, dude, can you not see where where the market is going? Can you not see the, the discrepancies? Can you not see what is happening? Am I the only person? Am I crazy? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Construction Interchange. Today I bring you our second episode. And this episode, um, I want it to be more thought triggering in terms of just the way that we understand just buildability and sustainability, the way that we kind of move in our industry, the way that our plans for the future, man. A lot of people speak about the African strategy and how is it that we are going to make a more sustainable um, infrastructure system for just the generations to come. And it, it's we have all these talks, all these books and all these articles are written, but we don't really speak to the people that are actually the ones that are actually creating it, the people that are actually in the mud and are dealing with the mud, the people that are going to be part of the design of just the African building strategy. So today we've got a really interesting guest who goes by the name South African Engineer on Instagram, so check him out. Um, but this guy, man, this guy, um, he thinks about engineering, infrastructure, buildability, innovation, advancement in just a different way. And this is a perspective that we want to understand in order to be able to, to kind of dive into those conversations with better perspective because we know the people that are actually going to design it. So, Lero, we're going to talk about a lot of interesting things within within just this just this episode alone. And obviously, um, you're another person that is considered a radical engineer. So, what is it that you kind of foreseeing within this this conversation with us today? Uh, just uh, simply, I I don't really have much coming into this conversation, but just to. Uh, well, I can summarize by saying two things for me that are important. Obviously, supporting you and supporting your channel. Mm -hmm. I love what you do. And for me, mm -hmm. because I'm in the industry, I, I, I feel very much part of what you are trying to, you know, to build and what you're trying to achieve out there um, for the industry um, mm -hmm. through the various parts of it. Uh, so that, that's yeah. the first thing. Um, it's, it's really an honor and a privilege to, you know, get this opportunity. I don't take it lightly. I don't want to lie. Um, uh, oh. it's a, it's a testament of, you know, people are recognizing what, what I am busy with, you know, and for me more than anything, yeah, I, I yeah. feel like that really is a pattern on my back and it shows me that, um, I'm going in the right direction. That's the first thing, right? Then uh, the second thing yeah. for me, uh, more than anything, I do this because of the vision that I have for for my life and specifically for the continent. So if mm. if 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 sort of uh, I can get the message out there for me um, outside of my social media platform, as small as it is, uh, for me it's quite a big deal that you know um, I can actually talk about mm. it. You know, so uh, for me, my vision and um obviously to support to support your platform okay. so what is this vision lero what is what what is this grand vision that that you 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 speak of like what is it that you do like and you know like within this industry like people can kind of put you in a certain box like very very quickly you know like when you're an engineer that this is what you do when you're in marketing this is what you do when you're in architecture this is what you do and i don't want i don't want to do that so can you put yourself and can you color your own box and what is within that box and what exactly does that box box do? Yeah. So, okay. Uh, for, for me, the most important thing for me that I want people to get about, I, I, I'm only really in this industry to see a developed African continent. The, each and every single oh, day when, cool. I, when, when I go to work, you know, every single time I, I touch a piece of paper, I talk to a client, um, you mm. know, I, I speak to, I speak to workers, uh, every single, every, every, every time I design a drawing for me, it, it really yeah. is about developing the African continent. And oh, that's so cool. that for me is the biggest thing. Like if, if, if people can just get that about me, then, um, I'd be happy because 
it it really informs everything that I do. My the values that 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 I uphold. Uh, you know, the, my constant uh, 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 obsession about improving myself, um, my my the, the 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 conversations that I have, the people that I want to meet, you know, the the extra sort of extra mural activities uh, that I pursue in outside of the everyday day day to day working. Um, it, it really comes from that vision, you know. Um, we and I believe that's that's really what makes me like different from all the other people that you really just go to work to make money. Money is important. Yeah, that's you know, resources are important, but I believe, you know, like one should have like a like a bigger picture sort of that you live for every single day. So for yeah. me I believe really that's you know, that's really who I am. Um I also do not like just um defining myself to be uh, a civil engineer only. Uh, I, I really yeah. regard myself as uh, a, a more of an entrepreneur as opposed to as opposed to just a civil engineer. Although civil engineering is really uh, my claim to fame, if I were to say that. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> You're Lero, and I totally understand, and 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 that's what I love about you, and it it projects so much in your work. It projects so much in just the way that you communicate your offering and your service and your talent, and that's why I didn't want to get just a engineer, and that's and, and that's why I wanted you because I wanted us to to kind of speak around the fact that. In as much as we are in the certain professions um, that we are in, we are not bound by by just what we are, and there there has to be a personal there has to be a personal vision to whichever company that you go. Like you don't have to be an entrepreneur, and that's the thing. I think our generation has this thing about no, now you have to have your arms folded and and take pictures because now you're a CEO or whatever in order for you to kind of fulfill your vision. Sometimes, um, sometimes some certain people. Are workhorses and that's what they're good at and if you have a vision towards that then you will become successful at that but don't be a, a workhorse just to work and and just work for forever and ever you know there has to be like when you jump from company to company or when you are moving or making a career decision there has to be it has to be based on some on some sort of plan that you have put in and regardless of your profession regardless of of what you are doing it's just if if you don't have that vision for it or that vision to what you are going into you kind of find most of the things that you are doing is just fruitless you, you don't have to quit your job and not work and starve to become the greatest entrepreneur of all time to prove that you have that that you have a vision but it's a matter of creating a plan and kind of making it making making conscious decisions to fulfill that plan or vision so i'm really grateful for that um lero dude like i like the way that you look at construction i like the way i like your perspective i like your 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 let, let me tell you let me tell you um you know like you probably have the bit no 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 the second best construction page on Instagram after me of course because like when I when I when I got into your page and I was just like these are all the things that I love and they're so pretty like you make pipes and steel look like you know like I was just like okay cool so this guy is onto something here because people like in construction man are just so dull and boring it's just like dude yeah sharp like tell me your spec but also entice me a little bit like do something so we push it we, we, we try we try it so no, no, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you all right so uh how did i get into it right um so mm. like from the onset right i've always i've always wanted to be in the industry right um yeah i have a certain background uh, maybe we, I can share a little bit of my background uh, of how I okay. actually got into this Go industry. All right. So, Go for it. Oh, okay. Okay. So when I started out, when I started out, uh, like in varsity, right. I, I actually started in yeah. varsity studying um, 
uh, soil sciences and agricultural engineering, right? Um, mm -hmm. And the, 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 the big vision for me since, you know, I was, I was in high school was uh, to really be part of uh, the whole uh, a green uh, architecture, green infrastructure industry. And so, so I have currently, I actually have a, a BSc qualification in uh, soil sciences and agricultural engineering. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You you had to have you had to have. Well, anyone can go into farming, but uh, you know, for for people like me that really want to go into the science of it, I, I really felt like uh, going into yeah. varsity and actually studying it for me, you know, actually made made much made much more sense. So uh, I I did I went and I did that, uh, worked for like a couple of years, then I decided to go back to varsity to go study civil engineering. So you went back to school and you went and started from point A in civil engineering. I started from scratch with high scholars there, How you know. You? Uh, I, was, I was about 24, 25. But really when it came to, uh, you know, not necessarily just taking pictures of people, but really telling the world about infrastructure on the African continent. That's where, that's when I started yeah. the page, you know, uh, fun, um, aquatic structures on the a African continent, telling people about it, taking uh, uh, great spaces, urban spaces, mega structures, mega projects, um, and just putting it on social media. And for me, Instagram is just one of them. I really want to do a lot more, uh, but really mm -hmm. that is just the beginning. So uh, it comes really from you know, the fact that I want to tell people about, about, about Africa and the, the amazing projects that we actually have on the continent. So, yeah, yeah if I were to summarize wow. it, that, that, that's, where, that's where it comes from. Wow, you call that a summary? It really is my summary. You know, we could talk at length. <laughs> you, I really summarize it. I've got two questions for you, just following that. Um, so what do you think about, um, so what do you think about um, construction, digitalization, the internet, and just technology going forward? The second thing is, and that's the one thing that I want you to understand is that, and a lot of people to understand is that you have got, in, you have gone into, you are in an industry where it is niche, 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 niche. And I don't want you to, to not credit yourself for everything that you've done on your page right now. So whatever number that you're on right now, construction, niche, dude, times it by 50 to get to commercial content. And obviously, we are not posting about the Maldives and we are not po posting bikini pictures. Not to take away from, obviously, that content, but I'm saying that when you've niched that small you need to also understand that um the number it's not about the numbers it's about the quality of your page because if i were a brand and i if i were to kind of advertise on your part on 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 your page just for instance i'd know that wh whoever that i'm getting is exactly the type of person that's supposed to that i'm intending my message for it's not just about the numbers but also think about our industry in terms of just our demographics how our industry works um and 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 niche the down those numbers to whichever service offering that you are giving and then and then kind of and then kind of see the value in what you are trying to create so I, I i don't want to hear you speak about numbers i just want you to understand and i want you to go in the pace that you are right now in terms of just quality engineering construction content that 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 is not compromised by you trying to be commercial in any way or you trying to be overly technical so you can get the message message across but it's just that balance between the both so and that's the nice thing about you i feel like you've kind of uh, been able to merge the technicality of what you do um, with the creativity of, of, of who you are and, and, and that's and, and that sh that is showcased in your page and you know like there are so many people that that used to ask me, oh, what are you going to do with construction on Instagram? And they don't, and not just on Instagram, but just on any digital platform. Oh, you know, those deals are not made on the internet, you know? So 
um, it's, it's crushing those stereotypes and, and allowing a different customer base to actually submerge from, from, from our content creation and, and our offerings. So if you were to kind of, if you, if you were to kind of just put the vision in like, you know how companies have like taglines, like if you were to put the vision in like a tagline, what would it be? What would it be? I, I call it, I call it the, the African imperative. That's oh, that. That's really oh, that's really what I call it. Oh, it is it is it is that important, oh, oh, oh. you know. Yes, yes, and, that's so true.